Hello everyone. You are watching scuddy.com and I am Dr. Mahadadan. Today our topic would be the rotator cuff injuries. We will moving on towards shoulder. As you know shoulder is a very important joint and it is very much required for our proper functioning. And shoulder is a joint which is actually have a lot of movement. But due to this movement is actually at the cost of some form of instability as well. We will be discussing the anatomy and briefly the pathologies which can actually occur with the shoulder and why they are important. Because uh, we will be moving on first towards the impingement syndrome. There is a chromion and there is a coracoid which is present around the shoulder and during the scapulothoracic mechanism uh, there may be associated with the impingement syndrome such as subacromial or subcoracoid impingement. We will be briefly discussing what are the inter intrinsic factors which may lead to impingement or what are the extrinsic factors which may lead to impingement. We will be also discussing how to assess a patient with the impingement syndromes or to perform different tests for impingement and what are the signs, symptoms and the management of impingement which may be in form of a conservative measures such as anesthetes and physiotherapy or it could be open or uh, arthroscopic acromioplasty which may be done for the to relieve the patient of subacromial impingement. Then we will moving on to the supraspinatus tendinitis. As the rotator cuff forms a part of the dynamic stabilizers of the shoulder and supraspinatus is one of the major part of the rotator cuff we will be moving on to the supraspinatus tendinitis which may be associated with impingement or rotator cuff arthropathy. From then onwards we will be discussing the mainly a syndrome called as rotator cuff syndrome which actually encompasses a plethora of diseases which may have associated subacromial subcoracoid impingement along with the rotator cuff arthropathy or even the rotator cuff tear as well. These all actually diseases constitutes a overlapping of sinus symptoms and problems which usually present with the patient may present with the shoulder pain, patient may present with swelling of the shoulder, patient may present with a decreased range of motion and which may be due to the uh, different uh, tiers of the either supraspinatus, infraspinatus or subscapularis. We will also be from then onwards we will checking what are the tests for the cuff impingement pain whether how to assess whether it's due to impingement uh, which may be internal or external or is it due to the rotator cuff arthropathy or rotator cuff tear. We will be going through the Hawkins standard test which can be done for the impingement and we will be going through the diff other tests as well such as Jobs test for supraspinatus tear arthropathy or even the empty can test. Then we will be also discussing the belly press lift off test which is actually for the subscapularis tear. Then from moving on towards we will be test, uh, checking uh, also uh, discussing the tests for the infraspinatus which includes external lag test and drop test. From then we will moving on to the acute calcific tendinitis which may be although uh, which patient may present with acute deposition of calcium in the tendons which may be very painful there will be associated swelling and there may be gritty sensation on examination as well or this may be associated with chronic calcification and osteoarthritis and derangements and destruction of the glenohumeral joint as well. If you want to keep uh, watch more videos on orthopedics, go to the website, go to www.scardi.com and uh, watch more videos over there. Thank you very much. Keep watching scardi.com.